from Miron Celebrity Pro Cream Makeup, and this is in this is in the color light. And we're just going to use a flat kind of foundation concealer brush to start off with the first color. Um, you want to make sure this color is lighter than your skin tone because this is what is going to be highlighting. Um, for when you do apply your normal color foundation, this will blend with it and make kind of a lighter effect. Um, you really want this triangle area right here to be nice and bright. And we're also going to have our chin stand out a little bit, our upper lip, down our nose, and we're going to go on our forehead. Um, you're also going to go under where you would put your contour because you really want this to counteract with your contour so that way it is nice and bright. And then I'm going to put a little around my mouth because sometimes I get red in this area. So we're going to take our next Celebrate Pro Cream and this is in the color medium dark. And we're going to use the same brush and go ahead and start putting these shadows on our face. So we're going to start with our contour line here. It should come from the top of the ear down almost to your mouth. You're going to do this on both sides. And then we're going to just add a little definition into our chin. We're going to go under the jawline. Under the jawline. Um, we're also going to do around the forehead here. I do have a larger forehead, therefore I do want to um, kind of cinch that in with contouring here on the side of my face. And um, I'm also going to put it on the top because I do have a larger forehead so I want it to be pulled in. Um, and then I'm going to take it on just on the end, not very much. I'm going to go along the sides of my nose. So this will sharpen my, my features slightly. And I also have a love for those little noses that go up a little bit. So I'm just going to slightly pull that brown up onto my nose so it pulls it up just a little. Next we're going to be applying our blush. You should use a cream blush with this because with cream products it's all going to mix together um, much better. So I'm going to be using my Stila little cream blush. I got this for free at BeautyCon. Booty, booty con. I got this for free at BeautyCon. Um, it is in the color Peach Blossom and I find that this is the perfect color for me. So I'm just going to use a Real Techniques um, little flat foundation brush here just so I don't mix getting pink on that brush there. And I'm just going to smile and put this along my cheeks. And yes, this may look crazy, but I promise you once you blend it out, you will have a natural pink tone to your skin. It'll look like you're naturally blushing, which is exactly what we want to look like. So now we are mid-process. Um, we're almost done here. Actually, it doesn't take very long if you've been keeping track of the time here but um so next we're going to take our little trusty beauty blender this is my little white one right here and um, we're going to be using a BB cream now you could be using a foundation to blend this all in but personally I don't want too much on my skin um, especially when we're in the winter it's drying this is already gives me full coverage in all my areas needed so um, I'm just gonna use a beauty bomb and I really 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 recommend um, bomb shelter by the bomb cosmetics um, and what we're going to do is I just put some on the back of my hand here. Not very much, just a little dab. Okay, and then we're going to take our sponge here, get some on there. Don't get too much, you know, just enough. And we're going to start with the bottom jawline here. And we're just pressing this on top and kind of pulling down just a little bit. We're going to start mixing these colors together. And we're also going to blend the contoured on the chin or jawline down a little bit just so we have a nice, um, no harsh you know line there. We're going to go along the chin so it just makes your chin slightly defined there. Again you don't want any harsh lines so make sure you blend this out extremely extremely well. And you're just going to go along your um, other side of your jawline and make sure you're picking up more product. This will really get it back to your skin tone. So what this is doing actually is it's taking the natural skin tone um, BB cream here and mixing with the light and dark to make you your perfect shade of contour. Um, so that way you're not having anything that looks discolored or too orangey for your skin because the Beauty Bomb's purpose is to put your personal skin tone back into your face. So now we're going to blend out some of the highlight. So I'm going to go on the forehead here. Always grab a little more Beauty Balm if you need to. And the good thing about the Beauty Balm is it's not too thick and it's actually um, more hydrating for your skin. 
So this will counteract with the other products and just make it look a little bit more natural since a beauty balm is known to have a more natural effect or appearance on the face. Blending is key to all makeup, you guys know that. So this may take a little time, but I would say that this is the most time consuming part. Everything else is, you know, pretty self-explanatory, easy. It just takes a few minutes to draw the little, your contour spots, and then go ahead and just blend it out. So what I'm trying to do is concentrate on the um, light blending to the dark first, rather than jumping straight into my blush. Because once I do jump into my blush, I'm going to have pink on my sponge. And I don't want the rest of my face to look pink, so there's a little tip think about that, guys, when you start doing this. Start with around your face first, and then work your way inward, because we don't want pink on the rest of our face. So I'm going to go into my under eye area, trying to blend out the um, lighter concealer first. And with under my eye, I don't use as much BB cream, because I do want um, the lighter foundation to stay as light as possible. So since we do have the light blended out under this eye, we're going to start by blending the contour up and the blush into the skin. So I like to use the side of the sponge for this and just kind of dab and pull up slightly. You just really want to mix this in with the blush too. You don't want to look like you have a clear line of where your contour and blush separates. Um, you do want it to be very seamless and blended. So we're going to go ahead and work on the other side. And then we're going to do our nose last. So we're just blending upon the side and into the eye socket here. I'm going to blend up the nose and around the nostrils as well. And then just blend the other side. And that's it for blending out the face. As you can see, um, it does give me a natural rose in my cheeks. Um, I don't look too tan. Um, I look naturally how my skin tone would look because I am mixing the lighter and the darker so I'm mixing where my natural shadows and contours would be. Um, so with the pink it's just giving me a slight rosy effect to where it doesn't look like dang you have blush on. It looks like I have a natural glow um, within my skin kind of making me look a little bit more healthy and more youthful. So the next step you could do is set this with some powders to bring out those features a little bit more, which is what I will do next just to intensify it, but you could totally stop here if you feel comfortable with how this looks. So my next step here is to um, go over my highlighted areas with a um, lighter color pressed powder, and I'm using the MAC Skinalize Fin... Blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk. It is the MAC mineralized skin finish that's what I'm using and I'm just gonna take the same beauty blender and just kind of pack the product onto the sponge here just like you would do with a powder sponge and then I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes um, I really want this area under my eyes to stay light um, I do feel like that was lost a little with the blending of other colors so I really like under my eyes to stay nice and bright and make me look awake um, I think light under eyes is beautiful on all skin tones because I feel like it just really brightens up the face makes you look awake and it also makes you look like you're um, hydrated and got enough sleep so I'm just gonna go over the areas I highlighted um, just to keep these areas nice and bright and it also helps set your makeup so that way it will stay all day and I just kind of set these areas here and if you wanted to have a little bit darker contour don't mind my crazy hair um, you could totally go in with more powder to sculpt your face out a little bit more, but I wanted my look to be a shake a shake. My look to be a little bit more natural. As you can see, I do have a contour here. See, it does capture the natural lights of my face and how my face would naturally contour and highlight. And my skin looks flawless. Features to stand out, pull forward where you want your blushing cheeks to be, and just go ahead and take your BB cream and blend over it. That's pretty much it, guys. Everyone could have perfect skin if they really wanted to, or if they really just wanted to pick up the techniques for makeup. Um, to see it, um, you guys can tag me on Instagram. I'm on my Instagram daily. Um, I check it daily. I post daily, so you guys should really follow that as well, which I will have linked at the end of the video. Um, so I really hope you guys just enjoyed, and I hope you guys um, try it out. So yeah, have an amazing day, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Bye. Yeah.